China completed its permanent space station last year, a 70-ton structure that goes by the name of Tiangong and composed of three permanent modules. You have the command center, the Tianhe core module, and two experimental modules, Wentian and Mengtian, dedicated to space sciences. The space station was assembled over the past two years and is now fully operational with three astronauts permanently on board for periods of six months. And while Tiangong is significantly smaller than the International Space Station, it remains a very capable space lab with specialized science racks, attachment points for experiments on the exterior, two airlock chambers for spacewalks, a cargo transfer system, two robotic manipulators, and three docking ports for incoming spacecraft. Yet it now looks like China is planning to expand its space station. The first hint of this was back in 2021 before the CSS was deployed. At the time, it was revealed that China had built two identical Tianhe core modules. There was one which would be launched and the other one which would serve as a backup in case the other one did not perform as expected. But the first Tianhe core module was launched in April 2021. It was then officially approved, leaving China with a fully functional spare Tianhe module. And so it was quickly speculated that this spare would be used as an extension of the space station rather than just being thrown away. And a lot of fan art flourished on the internet showing the Tianhe 2 docked to the Tianhe 1. Space station expansion intentions were then further confirmed in 2022 when the deputy chief designer of the crewed spaceflight program, Yang Li Wei, confirmed in June that a six module configuration was being envisaged in the future, which was suggestive, I guess, of a doubling of the current three module space station. Yet it now seems that China is going for an intermediate configuration with four modules. And this new fourth module was shown by Wu Yansheng, the chairman of China's largest space conglomerate, CASC, during a speech in last December. This module seems to be composed of two segments of different diameters. You have the smaller segment, which would dock with the front docking port of the existing space station, while the larger diameter segment would have five docking ports. Two of these on the side could possibly serve permanent experimental modules similar to Mengtian and Wentian, and so this would leave the entire space station with a total of five docking ports as opposed to three today. In Wu Yangsheng's animation, we also see China's future next generation crewed spacecraft docked radially to the space station. And this spacecraft has a carrying capacity of up to seven astronauts. And so this probably means that the new fourth space station module will likely have living and sleeping quarters. And this is because in the current three module space station configuration in orbit today, there are only six sleeping quarters of which three are backups. Another interesting concept for the future Chinese space station is the notion of co-orbiting spacecraft. In February this year, the chief engineer of the space station systems, Yang Hong, said that in the future, there could be multiple spacecraft that could evolve in the same orbit as the CSS, and that would dock to the space station only if they needed refueling or servicing. And this way, the space station would act as, quote unquote, a sort of aircraft carrier. And actually, one corbing spacecraft is already known, and that's the Shuntian Space Telescope to be launched in 2024. By not being permanently docked to the CSS, Shuntian is not impacted by any vibrations or disturbances that the CSS could generate. And that's naturally something that's very important for something as sensitive as a space telescope. So how likely is any of this to materialize? Well, I think the repeated mention of an expanded space station leaves no doubt that the Chinese want to grow the CSS in size. And just to add some credibility to this hypothesis, there's currently a very serious looking space exhibition in Beijing, also showcasing this fourth additional space station module. But as always, it's very possible that the design of this module continues to evolve because after all, we've recently seen a complete revamp of China's NGCS spacecraft, which has evolved quite a bit compared to its initial version developed in the late 2010s. So why not for this fourth space station module? And so that's it for today. As always, I just want to thank all of my existing patrons for their essential support. Also, if you're ever looking for some cool space theme merch, do check out our store at shop.dongfonhour.com. We often release new designs. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.